very good morning one and all today we are going to see a small problem on thevenin's theorem as we have already seen our uh, uh, thevenin's theorem uh, in detail so what thevenin's theorem states like in any linear bilateral unilateral or the uh, complex dc network all the voltage sources or uh, current sources that uh, it will be replaced by a equivalence thevenin's voltage source and also all the resistance that uh, will be replaced by the equivalent uh, uh, thevenin's resistance with the load resistance connected in the series so all vth rth and load resistance should be connected in the series this is the statement of the thevenin's theorem so in this problem we are, uh, what they asked is they asked to calculate the load current il by using the thevenin's theorem so here if you see um, yeah so 20 voltage um, uh, voltage source is given so here um, here resistance is given here also parallel resistance is given i so say here again resistance is given and load resistance is given so now <laughs> as I said before, so whatever the load resistance given, so that point you need to mark as A and B for our simplification. So you can use X and Y. So whatever the notations P, Q, whatever the notations you want. So for simplification, I have used A and B. So um, here it is the load current. So this load current only we need to find out. So by using Thevenin's theorem, by seeing this problem, just like that if you solve uh, by um, okay, equivalent resistance, and after that, uh, if you find out the load resistance, uh, that is wrong. So, uh, in question itself, they have clearly given like by using that Thevenin theorem. So here, all the resistance are in kilo ohms. So what is the step number one? Step number one is to open the terminals. That is the load resistance terminals A and B. We need to open. That is the step number one. Now we need to find out the V Thevenin voltage. So, V Thevenin voltage, what we are doing is we are opening this load resistance 1 kilo ohms already given in the problem. We are opening the load resistance. So, here <coughs> the current to this also um, will be having no sense because here it is open circuit. So, here we are neglecting this resistance and finding out this uh, uh, current. Okay, so here uh, this is 20 ohms, here uh, one resistance is there, here one resistance is there. We need to find out the current. So these two resistance are in series. So by using the ohms law I is equal to V by R. So V is what? 20 voltage it is given. So divided by equivalent resistance that is 2.2 .2 plus 3.3 .3 kilo ohms. So 2.2 .2 plus 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of 3. Okay, that is kilo ohms. So kilo means 10 to the power of 3. So here while simplifying, we are getting the answer as 3.63 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That is nothing but 3.63 milliampers. Okay, small m, milliampers. So that is the current in this particular thing. Now we need to find out this uh, VTH. So what is VTH? VTH is equal to I into this R2. Okay, so this particular resistance. So I is what, what uh, whatever we found out, that is 3.63 um, milliampers. So into this particular uh, resistance. Okay, so I into R2. So the 3.63 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into that uh, resistance R2. Uh, here it is 3.3 .3 kilo. So 3.3 into 10 to the power of 3. So this and this can get cancelled. While simplifying, we are getting the VTHS 12. Now, what is the next step to find out the RTH? So, RTH, uh, um, as we seen uh, the um, rules of the Thevenin's theorem before, um, we need to short the voltage source. So, here one voltage source is there. So, we need to short this voltage source and we need to find out the uh, equivalent resistance from this particular circuit diagram. So, while finding the equivalent resistance, uh, so here 2.2 and 3.3 are in parallel. So that is 2.2 into 3.3 divided by 2.2 plus 3.3. That two in parallel. And this is in series. After finding out then, and this is in series. So 2.2 plus uh, this 2.2 uh, into the 3.3 divided by 2.2 plus 3.3. 
So, equivalent resistance that is the resistance is resistance is RTH is nothing but 3.52 kilo ohms. Now, uh, we found out the VTH, we found out the RTH and the load resistance. Load resistance, we open circuited. Now, we need to add, so here load resistance, uh, previously we open circuited. Now, we need to add this load resistance, that two in series. So, and also you need to see that um, this uh, the original, uh, in the uh, whatever the circuit given, the voltage source here it is positive, here it is negative. The same thing you need to replace the V in uh, voltage source here. here. So, V <laughs> in it is a uh, here it is a uh, positive and here it is negative. If uh, in either way it is given, say for example, if it is given in the and negative terminal and positive terminal uh, in the opposite way. So you need to uh, connect this uh, V level in also in the opposite way. So that you need to, so whatever given in the circuit, the same polarity we need to uh, choose here. So if it is given in the opposite way, so you also you need to do it in the opposite way. So now uh, we found out this uh, 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 RTH and the VTH. So that two are in series and also with the load resistance also in the series. So now we need to find out the load current IL. How to find out the load current IL? So by using the Ohm's law. So IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH and uh, plus R. So these two resistance are in series. So you need to add. So if you uh, substitute the 12 volts here and RTH 3.52 kilo ohms, uh, and also 1 kilo ohms, that is 3.52 plus 1, the whole into 10 to the power of 3. I'm taking the 10 to the power of 3 outside, that is kilo ohms outside, so that the uh, simplification is further easy. So now we can find out the load resistance, that is IL is equal to 2.6 milliampere. So this is the answer for um, uh, this particular uh, 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 circuits, this particular circuit given in the problem. Now, the second uh, problem, the same circuit, uh, um, is calculate the load, uh, load current IL by using the evidence here, the same circuit here, but here the voltage is given as 10 voltage. So again, so what, um, just to practice uh, you well, so here first you need to mark this uh, load resistance uh, point as A and B. And after that, uh, what is the step number one? We need to open circuit the terminals A and B. Now we need to find out the VTH as the current is not flowing the loop two. This will loop two. So we are ignoring this loop two. Okay, this loop two we are ignoring. This is the loop one, this is the loop two. So we are ignoring the loop two. That is this resistance we are ignoring. Why? Because current is not flowing. Because here it is open circuit. Now here um, by considering this circuit, uh, so we need to find out what is I. So I is uh, nothing but uh, by using the ohms law, I is equal to V by R. So V is what 10 ohms divided by these two resistance are connected in series. So this uh, um, 2.2 kilo ohms plus 3.3 kilo ohms. So 2.2 plus 3.3 kilo ohms away and, and taking outside. So 10 to the power of 3 outside. So while simplifying, we are getting the answer as 1.818 into 10 to the power of minus 3. And uh, further simplification, we are uh, taking this. Uh, 1.818 uh, milliamperes. This 10 to the power of minus 3, we are taking this milliamperes. So, current is here, it is 1.818 milliamperes. Now, we need to find out the VTH. How to find out the VTH? VTH is equal to, this V is equal to I into R. So, R2, this particular, uh, okay. So, here, uh, RTH means R2. So, here, I, we already found out in, uh, R2 is 3.3 .3 kilo ohms. So that is VTH is equal to, if you just uh, uh, simplify this, we are getting 5.99 voltage. So I'm taking rounding off, uh, I'm taking this, VTH is 6 voltage. Okay, now to find out the RTH, RTH or how, so voltage so, source to be short circuit. Okay, so voltage source should be short circuit. So here, uh, uh, previously one voltage was, uh, was there. Now we short circuited this voltage. So now 2.2 kilo ohms, here 3.3 .3 kilo ohms and here 2.2 kilo ohms. These two uh, are in parallel and uh, with that um, equivalent resistance, again these two are in series. Like that we need to solve. So first uh, I am taking these two are in series. 
set parallel. Okay, that is 2.2 kilo ohms parallel with 3.3 kilo ohms. Uh, by, by finding out the RTH, that is uh, whatever the answer here, 2.2 into 3.3 divided by 2.2 plus 3.3. And here this is in series. So I'm adding. So 2.2 kilo ohms. So um, in, uh, here all the resistance, if you take uh, all the resistance are in kilo ohms. So what I'm uh, neglecting kilo ohms, but at last you need to add. So if, uh, say, for example, in this problem, uh, if uh, this two are in kilo ohms uh, and this two are in ohms, uh, you should not take like this. Okay. So what I'm doing is uh, if all the resistance are in kilo ohms, I'm neglecting the kilo ohms here in the calculation and at, at last I'm adding here. Otherwise, uh, you need to, uh, if it is uh, either uh, uh, here it is uh, not in kilo ohms, you need to take uh, whatever the um, value, that is 2.2 into 10 to the power of uh, 3, like that you need to take. So that you need to be very, very careful. Okay. If all are same kilo ohms, then no need of taking care of this. So next step, here RTH we are finding out as 3.52 kilo ohms. Now, VTH we found out, RTH we found out, so that uh, we are connected in series as per the uh, Thevenin's theorem with the load resistance also connected in the series as per the Thevenin's theorem. So, VTH is 6 ohms here and RTH is 3.52 kilo ohms and R, so load resistance is 1 kilo ohms, that also we added. Now, we need to find out the load current. So, load current only they asked to find out. So, by using Ohm's law, that is IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH and RL. Why RTH and RL? Because here these two resistance are connected in series. So uh, we are uh, taking two resistance are in series and we are substitu substituting that is 6 divided by RTH is 3.52 kilo ohms plus RL is 1 kilo ohms. So um, while adding, we are getting the IL as 1.32 milli amperes. That is the load current for this particular Thevenin's circuit uh, uh, that is the equivalent circuit given in the this particular